Okay, so this is going to be a little different than what I had planned with my um, historical history videos. I still do plan to do those. I'm working on one. Um, I'm having a lot of filming issues. But this has to do with history a bit. So there is a World War II sewing challenge on Instagram. So I will be documenting my project. I will be making an A-line skirt out of this very, very plaid. It's hard to tell in this light. It's a um, gray and black fabric. Oops, I went out of focus. There we go. <clears throat> um, the A-line I'm basing off of pictures I have seen, which I will end up uploading or putting, sharing somehow maybe on my Instagram. This is all the details I will be doing. Um, and then I already did the inches, my waistline and all of that. So it'll have four pieces in total. Uh, let's see if I can focus. I can't, okay. <clears throat> what am I doing? There we go. So the waistband, um, I was just originally going to fold it in half, but I will actually be cutting it two waistband pieces. So one will be sewn, hand sewn together. All of this will be hand sewn. Um, one, this side will be hand sewn, um, creating like a fold. And then this side will have the buttons. And then this is going to be two panels, so the front panel and the back panel. And I will be hand sewing down here and from about here down and then um, folding the waistband in half over the top so it'll create like the the waistband up here come down to about there and then the buttons um buttonholes will be hand sewn attempted um i will do a zipper if the buttons fail but i would really like to do buttons i am basing it off of well the idea I'm doing is going to be here's Rosie to keep you entertained. Um, um, like some a uh, girl sewing a new skirt during the London Blitz, which was the, the period of time when Germany was bombing London, England. For those who aren't aware of what the London Blitz is, um, so. <clears throat> The idea of hand sewing is because electricity, you know, um, most of the, they had blackouts and stuff, so electricity would, um, been turned off quite a bit, um, so a sewing machine would not have been the ideal way to make a skirt. This fabric is fabric I have had. I didn't want to go out and buy anything new because there was a fabric shortage during World War II. A lot of it was being sent to the soldiers. Um, so it was very hard to come by new fabric. Uh, I don't believe this is cotton, um, which would be like one of the fabrics they had back then. I'm pretty sure it's like a polyester mix, maybe with some cotton in it. But to be honest, I mean, cotton. I do have cotton for one of my other projects, um, but... That is for a skirt I bought the fabric for that I had in mind. This I had bought because it was on sale. And I wanted to make something and it's been sitting in my sewing trunk. So it seemed like a good use of it. Especially considering that I don't, I don't want to go out and buy new fabric for this. I am not decided yet if I'm going to do a lining. It is pretty thin. I don't know if Rosie will let me show you how thin. Um, or if I can even show you in this light, it's, it's currently night out there, so. Um, because of the fabric shortage, I don't know if, uh, skirts were made with linings. Um, or if it had, like, certain, 
Like if a, if a skirt was of a thicker fabric, it wouldn't be made with the lining, and if it was a thinner fabric, it would be. I'm going to be doing some more research. I still have time to do the lining if I decide to add it. <clears throat> the challenge isn't... Oh, there's Jenny. Um, the challenge goes until middle of May, so even hand sewing this, and if I do end up adding a lining, I will have time to sew a lining on. I don't yet know if I'm going to do a hem. I do have a hem sketched out of how much of a hem I would do, but I realized when I laid this fabric out that it has a finished edge on both ends, um, that end and this end. Uh, sorry. Um, so it might not need a hem, but if I don't hem it, it might end up looking too long. And because, again, of the fabric shortage, um, A-line skirts were, were the, you know, without the pleats, um, pleated skirts weren't really a thing because it would have taken more fabric to put the pleats in. And then they were also more, um, mid-length in length. Um, knee and above was considered immodest at the time, um, but to have it down to ankles was just considered also a waste of fabric. Um, so mid-length was more of the, the length to have it. And I do want mine mid-length, so I might end up hemming it because I am short, even though, um, you know, it doesn't look very, very big because I am shorter, it might reach past mid-length. Um, it just depends on how it will be uh, once I finish it. The length I'm going with, um, so it'll be 65 inches along the bottom. Um, uh, 39, uh, 39 waist at the top. And then um, with the waistband and to my mid calf, it will be 28 inches. So that's either with the hem or without, depending. So, yes, I'm going to record and document this. I might cut out the waistband tonight um, so I can get that started on. And we'll go from there. I'm, I'm excited. I actually had forgotten about the challenge. And I remembered in enough time to hopefully be able to get a project done. So, we'll just hope that Rosie lets me cut. Um, because currently she doesn't want me to cut. She wants to play with it. So, there you go. I will see you guys soon with another update on this. Also, in one of my... Um, History videos. Like I said, I've been having a lot of filming issues coming up as well as just other life things going on, but I think I figured the filming out. So we will get that going. Bye!